Hello, I'm Alan Holtham. I've been testing and using machinery and power tools for over 30 years. And during that time, I've realised the router is probably the most useful power tool you'll ever own. Today, I'm going to show you the T4 router from Trend, which is available in kit form like this, in either 110 or 240 volt versions. It's classed as being for hobbyists or light trade use. But that doesn't mean it's lacking performance, in fact, far from it. The motor is a powerful 850 watts, which allows you to use cutters up to a maximum diameter of 30 millimeters. And as you can see, the general build quality of the router is excellent. In all the years I've been advising woodworkers, my advice has always been to buy the biggest and most powerful tool you can afford. With routers, the situation is actually slightly different and a lighter duty model can be much handier for simple edge moulding and grooving jobs. Not that the T4 is particularly light, but the low centre of gravity coupled to the comfortable handles make it very user friendly, particularly for a nervous beginner. With this you're not fighting all that weight and torque you get with the more powerful machines. Although of course for heavier duty work with big cutters you will need something more powerful. The on off switch is positioned within easy reach, an important safety feature. And the tool has variable speed control on this knob here. The T4 has a range from 11,500 RPM to 32,000 RPM. Generally, the smaller the diameter of the cutter, the faster you can go. But it's better not to exceed 25,000 RPM for routing work. The handbook gives clear information about the precise speeds at each of the speed dial settings. This is a plunge router, so you position it over the work, plunge into a predetermined depth, lock it and then make the cut, releasing at the end of the cut so the cutter is raised back into the base, which is a real safety feature. The maximum plunge stroke is 35 millimetres, so there's plenty of scope for deep cuts. The depth is set with this adjustable stop rod which works against a three position turret. This allows you to make deep cuts in a series of controlled passes rather than trying to do it all in one go which could overload the cutter. The unique feature of the T4 is that the motor and base unit can be separated allowing you to use the motor unit freehand for carving or for die grinding, hence the very high top speed. There's another advantage here in that the collar is 43 millimetres diameter, which is the universal size for drill stands. So you can mount the motor unit in a drill stand and convert it into a mini overhead router. The base has two straight edges, so you can run these against the straight edge as a guide. Again, a great help for grooving work, particularly in the middle of big panels. For edge work, a parallel bar guide fence is provided in the kit, and this locks quickly and easily into the base with the two thumb screws. Another essential feature of the base is that it has holes for fixing guide bushes. We use these for template work and with some of the jigs. They're available in a range of different sizes, but a very useful 16mm one is provided in the kit. There are also a couple of extra holes in the base, and use these to mount the router under a table or to fit a unibase. The cutters are held in a collet in the main spindle, and you're provided with three different diameters, quarter of an inch, six millimeter and eight millimeter. In the UK, quarter inch shank cutters are probably the most used but the more rigid 8mm versions are becoming more and more popular. Fitting the cutters can be a bit tricky on some routers, but it's no problem on the T4, thanks to the integral spindle lock, which means you then only need one spanner to tighten or release the cutter. Routing is always a messy business, and you need to protect yourself from the dust. However, you do get a spout that fits into the base here, and if you then connect this up to an extractor, the dust is minimised, making it much safer and more pleasant to work. Unlike a lot of the budget routers, 
the T4 is built for some heavy duty work, but fortunately it doesn't require much in the way of maintenance, apart from a good blowout occasionally. But if you are a heavy user, the carbon brushes may wear eventually, but don't worry, they're easily accessible for replacement as you can see. Another plus for the T4. Another pet hate of mine is tool cases. You can never seem to get everything back in. This one has been designed so you can do exactly that without battling the cable. What's more, you get a decent instruction manual as well. Being a trend product means that if you do buy a T4, you're buying into a whole system. So there's a huge range of accessories available which you can add to increase the versatility even further. Things like fine adjusters, trammels and a whole host of different jigs. So, if you are on the market for a new router, either as your first machine or as a very handy spare, then I think the T4 is worth a serious look. To my mind, it really takes some beating.